All right, welcome to part two of section 4.1. We're going to take a look at proving triangles congruent with the definition of congruent triangles. To prove triangles congruent with the definition of congruent triangles, it might be beneficial to understand the definition of congruent triangles. Congruent triangles have three pairs of corresponding congruent sides and three pairs of corresponding congruent angles. Also part of this lesson is the third angle theorem which states if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle then the third angles are congruent. So we take a look at this first problem uh, given that angle or Segment AB is congruent to segment AD. Segment BC is congruent to segment DC. Angle B is congruent to angle D. And angle BAC is congruent to angle DAC. We need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. All too often in textbooks today, the diagrams already have the marks of congruence on them, which I happen to disagree with. I think it's easier to understand how to or how to prove the triangles congruent if we add the congruent marks as we go along and write our given statement. Uh, the first statement of any proof is the given and the first part of our given statement is that AB, segment AB, is congruent to segment AD. And now that we have that marked or written into our statement area, we should mark it on our diagram that segment AB is congruent to segment AD. So we have one pair of corresponding sides marked congruent. Next, we'll write down that segment BC is congruent to segment DC. And we should then go and mark that on our diagram that BC is congruent to DC. If we look at the rest of the given statements, they are about angles. So what we're going to need to establish to show that all three pairs of corresponding sides are congruent is that AC is congruent to AC. The next things we're going to mark are the angles. Angle B is congruent to angle D. So let's write that down in our statement. That angle B is congruent to angle D. And let's go ahead and mark that on our diagram. That angle B is congruent to angle D. And the last part of our given statement is that angle BAC is congruent to angle, and I'm going to need to move this down, that angle BAC is congruent to angle DAC. And we should go ahead and then mark that too that angle BAC is congruent to angle DAC. So we have two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. So what we're going to need to justify or to prove these two triangles congruent, we're going to need to establish that AC is congruent to AC because the triangles share that side and we'll also need to prove that angle ACB is congruent to angle ACD. So we can start with establishing or justifying that AC is congruent to itself. Some students of geometry say, well, that's pretty obvious, Mr. Pi. AC or anything is equal to itself or congruent to itself, but in a proof we need to establish that and a property there is, it's the reflexive property of congruence that allows us to state that and it is something that needs to be stated. So we can then say that AC is congruent to itself because of the reflexive property of congruence. The next thing that we needed to establish is that this third angle in each triangle, angle ACB, is congruent to angle ACD. Now we just saw on the previous slide the third angle theorem. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, 
then the third angles are congruent. Well, that's exactly what we have. We were given that angle B is congruent to angle D, and angle A, C, B is congruent to angle, or I'm sorry, angle B, A, C is congruent to angle D, A, C. Two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, therefore the third angles are going to be congruent. So we can mark angle A, C, B congruent to angle ACD. And that would be because of the third angle theorem. We've established that all three pairs of corresponding sides and all three pairs of corresponding angles and the two triangles are congruent. So we can finally state our proof statement. The triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. And that would be just by the definition of congruent triangles. And we have finished our first proof. Be sure to check out the second proof in part three of lesson 4.1 on congruent figures and specifically proving triangles congruent.